Okay, guys, so here's the thing. Anytime the police pull up on you or you see police in the area, it's important that you get your phone and have it ready because you never know if you're going to get confronted or not. Now, go to this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. The fact is this. You have a right to film the police and understand that. So what I decided to do is cut down the beginning commentary to about less than 40 seconds because there is no reason to drag it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, always film the police. What is your problem? I don't know. Where is she? Excuse me. Excuse me? What do you mean, what's going on, first of all? I'm not injured at the moment, as far as I know. I need to see a doctor if I, you know, to know if I'm injured. Um, am I allowed to? Am I under arrest? You're on camera, by the way. Am I under arrest? Name and badge number, please. Name and badge number, please. Name and badge number, please. I have a right to your name and badge number. It's department I policy. I will answer my. I, just I will answer your down. question. We're on our way to Walmart. Okay. We're on our way to Walmart because of a mm -hmm. disturbance. Yes. Okay. So then someone I'm just aware. said, "Hey, these people might be involved." So I don't know what's going on. I wanted to make sure you're safe. Okay? I'm safe. Okay. Name and badge number, please. I'll give that to you. Name and badge number, please. Uh, Name and badge number, please, ma'am. You'll get that in a moment. I have a right to it. Okay. It's department policy to identify. Yeah, and I'm not done with my investigation, sir. It doesn't mean you don't have to identify. Yeah, how about you identify you? I'm Officer Rios. I have a First Amendment right to be to uh, be filming. I have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my papers and okay. not to so identify you. you don't want to give me your information then? Not unless you suspect me of committing a crime, in which case I would like to know what is I'm, your... I'm giving you. I'm 198 what is your, Officer Thank you. I explained to okay. you that you got a call to Walmart. But what gives you reasonable, disturbance. articulable suspicion of okay. a... Okay, can you please keep your hands out of your pocket, Am I detained, ma'am? Keep your hands out of your pocket, Am I detained? Am I detained? Yes, actually you are. Okay, okay. Can, I, can I ask what, what crime you suspect me of committing? I'm not going to get in this battle Is a disturbance a suspicion? Do you need any help? Do you need any help? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. No, I don't Do need you your help. Uh, Walmart? I don't need to answer your questions. Okay. I'm asking I'm you a simple question. They want us to ID to them, but she won't give her name and badge number. He has to continuously and continuously ask for the name and badge number. See, these cops don't want to be held accountable, especially when, they're no, when they know they're in the wrong. So the fact is, it's important that you document your interactions with law enforcement. Get back to the video. Is a disturbance, uh, is a disturbance a felony or a misdemeanor? It depends on what kind, sir. Uh, can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? Yeah, actually it can be. There's very state. Okay, tell me what state would be a felony. There's felony and there's misdemeanor. Tell me what state would be felony. We just got a call of a potential incident uh -huh. over there. And, and was it felony or misdemeanor? I'm just asking a simple question. Because you're being very aggressive. You showed up being very... Yeah, you did. Sir. You told me to sit down. When you yeah, showed up, you told me to sit down. Okay. Always film the police because it is your First Amendment right to do so. Understanding that the police are not your friends and they cannot be trusted. Get back to the video and enjoy. I don't have to sit down just because you, you told me to. You showed him just told me to sit down. That's what she said. Name and badge number, sir. Name and badge number, please. My name is Officer Hernandez. My badge number is 294. Is there anything else I gotta be out with? Thank you very, very much, sir. Are you the individual that we were that Walmart called about? Um, is there first of Walmart called you? Um, first of all, um, no, they they flagged me down and said they were leaving Walmart and whatever altercation had occurred there. So when I asked them, I needed to make sure. You told me to sit down first, lady. You're right. It is officer, sir. Okay. It's also lady. And then I asked you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Okay. Do I have? Do I not have a right to put them in my pocket? Actually, no. Not when we are coming from a call of a potentially violent act, sir. 
of a potential violent act, that means because you pulled up to me, you have a right to tell me to put my, I can't put my hands in my pocket, and I have to sit down on the ground. So here's the thing is we got a call to Walmart saying that there was a uncooperative uh, reporting party that said that their hand was cut and was fighting with security. Fighting with security? Verbally fight, fighting or whatever it may be. That's what I'm saying. So did you? Is, well, is that you? based you on the based on the way I was approached, I choose to invoke my Fourth Amendment right to uh, remain, our Fifth Amendment right to remain oh, silent. Right. Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I'm a little agitated. She came up to me very aggressively, very aggressively, jumped out very aggressively. Almost as if she wanted to come right at me and assault me, and then she tells me to sit down. Well, I have it on camera, sir. Uh, is, do you have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime to uh, expect me to identify and violate my? Okay. How about this? I will take everything out of my pocket so it makes you feel more comfortable, and I'll put it in this other pocket here. So the fact is this: the police. There's nothing wrong with having your hands in your pockets. Get back to the video and enjoy. So it's not in there. I understand that you have a risk of danger, but I also have rights, ma'am. And I do I do want to put my hand in my pocket at the moment. I don't think that's an issue. All I'm asking is the reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. What crime? What crime? We told you why we were on our way to the I would have been much more cooperative if you weren't very aggressive with me when you pulled up. Okay. Did I not? Did I not pull over? Actually, when I pulled up, I didn't. I was trying to give the address to the location, sir. I didn't know any of that. All I know is I seen what appeared to be you honking, and I pulled over. Huh? Actually, I never honked. Well, I didn't know who honked. I just no pulled over because I heard honking. Yeah. Yes. Someone honked. Well, I have I, it on. Oh, I know what it was. It was the people who honked at me. Well, regardless, and when it started, I was very cooperative. I pulled over. Okay, yeah. you came up very aggressive to me. Okay. That changes how I feel about the situation now. Now I want to invoke my rights because I feel like you're immediately not on my side. You're immediately not even willing to hear anything I'm saying. Okay. I'm just immediately a criminal in your eyes. Not you pulled up without identifying me at all, just like this dude's guilty. I, sorry, you felt I thought I was innocent until proven guilty. I, All of a sudden, I'm sitting down on the ground with an aggressive officer getting right okay, in my face. I'm, sorry, I'm an officer. I don't have to identify you right now. It's not department policy to identify when asked. It's department policy to identify after the whole event is over, ma'am, when I'm not filming you with the camera. No, that's not the case. Okay. That is not department policy. I, I'm not going to argue with you. Very if good you at what I do in this. If you have more information you'd like to share, I'm, I'm open to hear it. absolutely not respectful whatsoever of a person's constitutional rights. I have to identify because you don't have re reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. You have to at least tell me what the crime is. What is the crime? But what is the crime that gives you the right to force me to identify? See, my Fourth Amendment right is, is to be secure in my papers. I'm just going to go ahead and stand by. Okay? You're not injured. That's kind of what it came to be. I, I may or may not. I would need to see a doctor because I'm not qualified to make a decision like that, regardless of the circumstances. Perfect. I'm not a doctor. All I know is I'm being aggressively uh, spoken to, like right off the bat, without you knowing anything. You just came right at me. I'm sorry you that. Sir? I'm wondering where this is. It's it's coming close to 7 minutes and 29 seconds, and 15 minutes is the maximum amount of time you can detain someone in even a traffic stop uh, without reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime where, where it's beyond violating my constitutional rights, ma'am. Uh, did any, anything happen involving you when you were injured at Walmart at all? I really don't want to answer questions to you at all now because you made me feel... I really don't want to answer questions to you at all now because you okay. make me feel so uncomfortable and you make me feel like a victim of the of the police department. A victim, sir. Okay. You make me feel like a victim of the police department at the moment. Okay. Okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I do my best at additional commentary and narration. All original links in the description. Bye bye now. Have a wonderful day.